sorry I'm late. My daughter decided she wanted to take a bunch of very tiny magnets to daycare today. I thought that seemed like a bad idea. So we were doing a tense hostage negotiation de-escalation uh, protocol. But we got there. <laughs> we reached a compromise. I only let her take half of the really tiny magnets to daycare. Just kidding. Instead, I... I took the tiny magnets from her and I gave her a squishy dinosaur and otter bath toy. I said, that's okay. No problem. Please talk about her rowlet bag. Yeah, she has a, a rowlet purse. Like a... I don't know what you call it. You call it like a... a wait, it's, it's not like a purse. It doesn't have a handle. It's not like a messenger bag. It's like a... It, it's just something, because basically, here's a little parenting tip if you got a toddler. Sometimes she's like, I want to take this stuff to daycare. And I'm like, obviously you can't take this stuff to daycare because you're going to lose it because you're not even two years old yet, which is fine. I lose stuff. Or, or Historically, I did lose stuff all the time, which is why when I became an adult, I stopped taking shit places. And instead, when I leave the house, I only take my wallet, my phone, and my keys every time. And I, I always thought the problem was me, that I was like, I, I couldn't keep track of stuff. I think the problem is actually society giving you so many things to keep track of at all times, when in actuality, you only need a little. And even honestly, I've also taken my wallet out of the equation sometimes because I I've got a digital wallet on my phone now. Pretty soon, I'm not even going to need my house keys. And then I, I don't even know after that. At some point, do I just say I'm good for it? Then I don't even... Maybe I don't even have to wear clothes when I go outside. Well, in the metaverse, at least. But anyway. Um, this, this bag that she has allows her to take things to daycare without losing them. Because I know that at daycare, they're not going to be like, Hey, empty your purse. <laughs> By the way, was that article real? They said that uh, Denver Broncos quarterback Russell Wilson had a power outlet installed above his hip so that he can be plugged in after games to electrify his muscles and stimulate uh, recovery. Can somebody tell me if that article is real? They said it was from The Athletic, but it was a screen cap and not a link, so you never know, right? It's probably real. Really? How would he bathe? I don't know. Hold on. Russell Wilson three-prong outlet yeah 16 hours ago russell wilson literally plugs himself into a power outlet after football games wilson was at his locker recovering in a way only russell wilson can recover i'm just excited to be partnering with life electric to improve human performance in a way that's never been done before the broncos new quarterback said as he pointed to an electric cable attached to what appeared to be a three-prong input just above his right hip through a minimally invasive procedure, my body can now accept 110 volt currents and allow electric stimulation of my nerves and muscles to commence at a more efficient rate than ever before. That the look, the only thing that makes me think that this is fake is that it's insane, and then also that he said minimally invasive. That sounds like the sort of thing that the Onion would write. I just want to make sure that this is. I I, I would like. Can I get Can I get this Snopes maybe? You know what we You know what we should do. We should Google life. Electric. Mm, I don't. It's not coming up with any results. Ah, here we go. I just got duped on Twitter with that Russ Wilson life electric quote. I couldn't believe it, but with Russell Wilson, you just never know. That's where you know you gotta have some media literacy. Okay, pretty sussy. Uh, I, I'm the, no disrespect to the hard hitting professional reporters at uh, fan blog the Liberty Line. I expect my journalists to do some fact-checking before they run a story on their um, New York Giants-themed content farm, okay? Whatever happened to ethics in sports journalism? Why would he have an outlet? I don't know. I thought, well, you're right. Yeah, at this point, it would be a lightning cable, right? Or a USB 3.0, at least. He is married to Sierra. We, we talked about this, because I, I think Sierra has one, Sierra's O is one of the most underrated songs of the 2000s. She is the princess of Krunk. You know, I knew that. The prince of Krunk, ironically, of course, is T-Pain. But anyway, hold on. We're, so I, I, was, I looked at the tier lists, okay? 
But I just, none of them were my tempo. I got a lot of tier list suggestions. None of them were really my tempo. I, I already said I can't, um, I can't do a tier list of prominent bubble tea shops in the Vancouver area because I don't drink bubble tea. I could only rank them uh, by the time it takes to get the order that I get for my wife. So I don't know. Wait, I'm trying to think. If, if I had to rank bubble tea based on the experience of picking up bubble tea, I would say Yi Fong is a, is, a, is a good one. Is that what it's called? Yi Fang, I think. Yi Fang. That one is a, they've got nice stores. They smell nice. Uh, they got a, the interior design is good. It's spacious. But then there's some where you go into them and it's, I, and again, I'm not insulting the staff in the slightest, but you go into them and it's like one high school student that's taking the orders and making the bubble tea and like cooking the bubble waffles and calling out the orders and handling the Uber Eats and the DoorDash. Like that shit should be illegal. You should have to have at least two staff at every bubble tea location during all open hours. They're working too hard, man. When I hear a game called You Suck at Parking, I want to I want to I want it to be City Car Simulator but but better, you know? I want it I want them to put me in a situation where I have to park on a busy street. I have to parallel park and the space is only 15% longer than my car. That would be that's what I'm looking for. I want to have to back into a tight spot in the uh, Aberdeen Mall parking lot with seven Porsche Cayennes behind me all honking their horn because I had the audacity to be in the parking lot before them and thus taking the spot that they wish that they could take. But this seems, you know, I'm not saying that, that this is bad. I'm simply saying that I don't... That, they, I'm saying there's something wrong with my brain. That like, oh, cool, arcade, fun racing game. Oh, no, I'd rather have um, just a simulation of a chore that most people want to get rid of uh, as soon as... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's really loud. It's insanely loud and, and bird sounds as well, huh? I did see a waste management uh, like garbage truck hit a construction sign yesterday and the driver yelled out the F word really loud. That was, that was the most exciting moment of my yesterday. He did not say France. Only I didn't say fudge. You updated on your Peloton ride yet? Okay, listen, it was a fine Peloton ride. It was like a 363 output, 30 minute Dennis Morton funk ride, okay? Nothing nothing special, That that's the meat and potatoes of training. Hey, we're playing a game that challenges um, my driving ability and thus my masculinity and thus my ego and thus my very spirit, my raison d'etre, if you will. As the French say, a certain I don't know what. This game's called You Suck at Parking. It's not a parking simulator like you might be thinking from AddictingGames.com. You don't pull into the Cataraqui Town Center. It's December 23rd at 3.30 p.m. And you got to get like a, a couple of Olympic middens from the Hudson's Bay before they close. And then they might not be all, you don't want to go on Christmas Eve. So you go on December 23rd instead. But everybody's at the mall on December 23rd because they think it's going to be busier on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, it's actually dead. It's more of an arcade racing game where you're trying to get to the finish, which is a parking spot as fast as possible. I say that having not played it at all myself. But you know what? Let's figure it out here. Check it out. First spot, easy money. Skirt. Plus five seconds. I guess maybe you get more time based on how not shit your parking is. And my parking there was pretty shit. Ooh. <laughs> Skirt me. Skirt me. Squeeze me. Drop me. Drive me. I can't. They, they wouldn't let me park there. That's no parking. You know what? The problem is this car is rear wheel drive. You, d you don't see a lot of rear wheel drive cars in the... In the modern era, I'm not driving a, a Dodge Viper. Skirt. Okay, barely made it. Let's see where we are on the leaderboard there. 286, retry me. That's not good enough. I can spend the rest of my rest of my afternoon here. Skirt. Oh, you piece of junk. <laughs> what if we go this way? Did you see me thread the damn needle? Oh! Oh! Ooh, bounce it off the wall. Okay. That one hurt me. I gotta try something here. Watch this. Ooh! ooh. That's uh, incredible. 
We could have done the same thing and just gone back the, in the other direction, but you know, it was... Saved. Saved? Textbook. That's incredible. Okay. Dude, this could be fun online. I could see that. Drive me straight across. Um, this is a situation I feel like I should have inspected because I don't know where the other parking spot is. I'm going to guess it's over this ramp. That was pretty sick. Off to a good start. Oh, and we, we, you know what? We do the campaign. We unlock more stuff. We customize our car. We bring that online. We get the John Wick of driving drip. The John Wick of driving is Baby Driver. Oh, no. Hold on. We don't talk about Baby Driver anymore because of uh, the Kevin Spacey thing. Best thing I'll say about Baby Driver, reintroduce me to the song Easy by the Commodores. Incredible song. Owned. That's a perfect right there. <laughs> 48th? Next level. I love playing games the day they come out because, like, the leaderboard actually makes you feel like you're doing something good. Inevitably, by tomorrow, this leaderboard is going to be impossible. I didn't. My charred corpse did not land that time. People will have already built a, a custom bot in order to uh, get the maximum possible leaderboard position. But for today, today it's just gamers... And the, and the gaming adjacent. That one hurt. Ah, uh, it just... Oh, but if you touch the the coil, it kills you. I, okay, all right. All right, I understand. All right, all right, all right. Skirt. You just got to find the right angle. You just got to find the right angle. You just got to... Here's the thing. You just got to get the right angle on it. <laughs> you just got to... Ooh, <laughs> no, there's two magnets? Just gotta get that. He's done it. Take me across. Saved, okay, now you just gotta get across this one. Ooh, drop me. Look, we kinda, kinda blew it on that one. How was that not perfect? Is it because I used... Oh, because it counted for my first car. That was actually like one of the 18 that I destroyed. Okay. I, I thought it would have counted from the, the first viable option. My mistake. Whoa! World record! 29th. Holy cow. They got some good gamers on this one. I'm not, I'm not grinding that one. I thought that was uh, about as good as it gets. Let's play it. Let's let's give it a chance. <laughs> okay. Uh, and one of these. Okay. Uh, how about that? And I guess you could just take your sweet time, kind of. This one seems very doable. <laughs> Am I, I guess, you know what, what if I abandon my car there? You think that would work? Because otherwise that magnet... Oh, oh, we have to do that one last, maybe. You have to do that one last... You have to do that one last, I think. Nope. Okay. What if we just put on the e-brake? It is the e-brake. You just got to be stopped in there. Okay. Dev gave you special look or special loot. Okay, I'll check it out once we get uh, once we get ourselves out of the the campaign here. Get, I love some one of one streamer drip to to drop on people online. It doesn't have to be custom made as long as it's just one of one um, because nobody else has gotten that far in the game yet. Okay, owns. Excuse me, I'm just gonna die on the overworld real quick. 10 out of 10 game or what? Josh, they named this game after your uh, abilities at parking. <laughs> Last one's easy. I, we, we already killed the car though, right? 
I don't think we're getting perfect on this one. Oh! <laughs> you missed? This guy... Oh, this one's not working. Why is this guy so toxic, man? He's so... I just, I just don't understand when Josh became so toxic. I guess... You know what? I bet it's like a Monday to Friday thing. I bet he's toxic Monday to Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, he's a nice guy. I mean, I'm on the same kind of wave myself. On fire, Josh. Josh is welcome on the show at, at any uh, moment. Why don't you just hop on a call right now? Oh, because uh, you, you think your boss would mind? You think your boss would be upset if he heard you dropping the F-bomb? I have a question for you, by the way, Josh. Do you, does your, and this is not toxic, even though I'm using my toxic voice. Does your company sponsor any local sports teams? Like, do you get, do you get tickets to like minor league baseball or something like that? No, I wish it's not a Pittsburgh based company. Ah, we're actually Canadian. Well, we still have minor league baseball up here. How do you feel now that Dan is a bigger Rumbleverse streamer? Are you see, it, it do be your own. That's my wife typing that in chat, trying to subtly undermine my confidence. What's what's up with that? By the way, Kate, are you seeing my incredible driving skills? In all honesty, though, this seems like the kind of game that that you would actually enjoy on your stream. It's got the cuteness factor. Don't, don't. I'm waiting to Ah, oh, we got it. We got it. You hear that click? Sometimes you just gotta do a quick little 360 on him. That's a perfect right there. He waited the cinema too. You already know I'm getting there on the perfect line. Soundtrack does go kinda hard. Right, right, right. We gotta we gotta learn how to drift. Perfect. We even stayed on the road and everything. Oh come on! Just because my car is front wheel drive. And then my two front wheels went off the edge of the road. That's supposed to kill me? Not in the, This is why the Bugatti has lane assist. Skirt, skirt. Saved. So you, we were a molecule away from the edge, but I'll take it. Then give me one of these. I guess you could still hit the, the yeet cannon on that one if you wanted to. <laughs> I didn't know if we could make it. Ah, uh, you know, come on, we gotta, we gotta put some sauce on the Greg Miller on the leaderboard. I mean, you run up against an IGN kind of funny games uh, pro and alumnus. If we beat the game, maybe we'll get like a first by default. All we gotta do is beat the devs. Um, there's other cars. Okay, this actually should put me at a huge advantage. Are you gonna push me out of the way? I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so we want to park there last. This is actually just driving in Vancouver. I'm merging on the highway one. I've been killed in a horrific accident. There's only two spots here. Skirt. Me trying to drive on Broadway with all the damn construction. Excuse me, I'm just trying to get to Banana Leaf. Skirt me. They, they count that. Okay, run me back. Skirt. Skirt. Oh, I left my own car on the road. Yeah, there you go. We're, this is... He's threading the dang needle, dude. You go ahead. You go first. Stop me. Oh! Okay. Touch... Oh, I was doing it, too. <laughs> It's true, why are they driving in the, like, not even in the middle of the road, they're driving right on top of the, of the damn line. Son of a bitch. Typical Vancouver drivers just driving into the ocean. Honestly, about once every three months you see a post on r slash Vancouver, and the, the headline is usually just, what the hell? And it's always the same thing, it's always just a car flipped over in someone's yard. Like, where it looks like there's no way that, like, there's no object that could have possibly caused the car to flip like that. It's just like, they, I guess they were going too fast, hit a curve, panic steered, like, Ford Explorer, 
2,000 rollover risk and then just, just yeeted it into somebody's front yard. Lots, there's a post about once a week of someone not realizing that um, the seawall is for bikes and human beings only, and instead like driving their Fiat 500 on the, in the bike lane, but. That one's at least slightly more understandable, if not any more forgivable. Owned, owned? Chill, perfect, okay. Look at the damn chicane. Oh, what? Is it illegal to drive this good? Is it illegal to be this sick with it? Oh, he's zooming. There's three of them? I don't even know where... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way. Now that was sick as hell. You know what they should add to this game? A white Ford Bronco. Just apropos of nothing at all. That's fine. It only slowed us down a little bit. That's an OJ Simpson reference. I don't know. Maybe a little dated. I mean, like, I was six when that shit went down. But it lasted for like 10 years, so I got some, I got some memories of it. What do you mean busted? I'm in! We can conserve our momentum better on that one. No doubt about it. This shit's like stuntman for real. I don't care if I'm busted. I just perfected it. 45 seconds. 26th place. By the way, can I say great idea for the devs? Or like, I want to compliment your great idea. Putting people's Steam names but not putting their profile images. Very positive for streamers. I'm always worried when I play something like the coin game that it's going to show like some large anime you know what's. Because that's like 30% of the profile images on Steam. You can still put some heinous stuff in your name, but like, I mean... What, I'm gonna get offended by words? What is this, 2013? This one is like, this is the gimme. <laughs> Exploded. Baby driver. Baby driver. That's a beautiful performance. Then, how about one of these? Ooh! Tough luck, officer. Don't touch me. Let's do a quick donut. Maybe just get him to go off the edge. Park me here, I'm free. 151, that was still top 50. I mean, this is a tough level. This is probably where a lot of people rage quit the game. But not me. Not me, probably. I guess we shouldn't get too cocky yet. Okay, he already fell off. Oh, I didn't, I don't, this thing doesn't have air brakes, man. I don't know, the default yellow sedan is pretty drippy. What do you think is the most drippy? <laughs> is insane questions when your brain's on autopilot. What do you think is the most drippy sedan on the market today that has, that sells a lot of cars? I'm going to say... Anytime I see like a Mazda 3, I'm like, yo, that car's looking kind of sick with it. Civics 2? I'm a sucker for like the, the mid 2000s Civics. New Bronco. Okay, the EV Bronco, as much as I hate the Ford Motor Corpor Corporation, they did a great job on the styling, in my opinion. As someone who knows like absolutely nothing about car styling. Watch this. Just overshoot me. They steered into me for no reason? Me pleading my case to St. Peter that the person who killed me by texting and driving should not be allowed into the pearly gates. St. Peter's like, that was a long time ago. They've lived a long life since then, done a lot of philanthropy. It's Peter. Peter, drive him off the edge. He has to touch grass. You, I didn't think he could, he could stay on, honestly. I didn't think he had the chance. Now I gotta start, I, I felt like a vein in my forehead start to pop there. Slow, you gotta slow it, you gotta slow it down. Busted, busted me right into the parking spot, dummy.
Hey. Hey, hey, just everybody. You just... Fuck. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. We're learning the tools. What do you do here? You slow her down a little bit. You're gonna drive right into the heated coil. We get plus 20 seconds. Then we're gonna come around the corner. You're in the water, plus 20 seconds. Then we're gonna go around this bad boy right here. I think we might have had a little too much rightward momentum, but hold on. We could bounce and land on this one down here instead. But we're, we're supposed to have to do this one last, so that one might get knocked out because there's an endless stream of cars coming that way. He fell. How's that for a perfect? How's that for a perfect? Minus 56 seconds. We're next to two dev, like, every time. How do I know a streamer drip I got? I mean, the, this amount of legendaries, I'm gonna guess that those are streamer drip. <laughs> Anything in the legendary option, I'm gonna go ahead and suggest that streamer drip. Okay, primary paint job. I'm an opalescent sort of guy. Mm, I don't know. It's Honestly, it's a little garish. Ooh, the, the matte black on black chrome deletion. Lightning eggplant. I'm a simple man, though. Like, when it comes to cars, like, I look, this, I'm not, I'm not super sick with it on that one. Silver, a little garish for me. I, I am kind of into this, but the fact that it's moving, I'm like, ah. If it wasn't moving, I would love this kaleidoscope on my car, but... You can also change your car. Excuse me? Yeah, I can change my vehicle? I can find it. Somehow. There's one guy. Well, it does say equipped car. Hold on, let's see. Pattern style. No, 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 no. School bus? Eh, school bus? Oh, the arrows, of course. Give me the USPS van. And then, can I just put this in white and then get some USPS drip on this? Maybe, maybe something like that? Maybe something like this? Secondary paint, we're gonna get that in, in red. That's- uh, Dude, it's a Canada Post van! <laughs> Wait, but the Canada Post van is... Primary red, secondary what? Primary red, second- uh, uh, You know what? It's simply- uh, Yeah, equip it. You're right. It simply doesn't look as good when it's authentic. I'm sorry to say. So, put me on primary white, secondary red. That just looks cooler. Little hot dog van. Little accordion on top. Little grilled sausage. Little Robin Hood hat. USPS could be blue instead of red. Uh, you know, I think it's a it's a matter of like where you're from. Cause for me, this is like I mean, even with the the, the shiny paint actually looks a little bit more authentic, even though it's got lightning bolts coming out the side of it. I do. I, I kind of like a hat, but I also kind of like the default drip, honestly. And then for trails, it should shoot letters out the back of it. You're fired. Holy cow. Parking FX. That looks cool. Explosions. You could just explode. Or you could explode into green. Default horn. Oh, we have a horn? I did not know. Okay, I love this. I love this. I would like to save and exit. And then take me to an online match. I love the the Canada Post drip. I, I, I can't deny it. Look at this. Look at this. Level one. Don't, there is a confidence of the young generation. I don't need to play the campaign. Just put me in the online mode straight away. 
there's four, 14? No, there's 14 seconds. There's, there's eight parking spots. Wait, is it a musical chairs style battle royale? Is there one less parking spot than the number of people in the lobby? I'm the van. I'm the van. In that case, give me the quick one. I qualified. What? Turns out that's not how this shit works at all. I've qualified again. Oh, it's whoever can get the most. <laughs> Park me. Okay, I'm on three. Did I not get this one already? Why am I going back for? Oh no, I did. I see. I see. I've already gotten this one. We gotta. We gotta take a bigger leap. Ooh, ooh, that's okay. Even better. Somehow that worked. They should make it musical chairs, like GeoGuessr style. One less parking spot than the number of people in the game. Ergo, one person gets eliminated every time. And then Battle Royale it. By the way, a guy who has only played Battle Royales, they should really add a Battle Royale to this game. That's fine. We we qualify? We still qualified. That's round one. No, it is kind of it's working like that. It's just it's just uh more it's exhaustive. Okay, we got field trip. 15 seconds. I'm the first person to get a parking spot. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I mean, let's be honest, it's just me and D Siggy. That's Oh, that's the game right now. I'm not too worried about the other two drivers who are who are still on the grass in the damn minefield. Drive me. There's no reverse. There is no reverse. Good. Okay. We're back. These are not bots. Why does everybody think everybody online is a bot except me? Four and four. Peep their names. Honestly, they just seem like they have Discord integration turned on. I don't know if that's a thing in this game, but... If it is, that seems like something that they would have. Okay, you want to see something cool? Let's get a spot nobody else has even thought of. They are Game Pass names. See? It's it's on Game Pass. There you go. We're playing against Game Pass gamers. Makes it that much more embarrassing that, that they're owning me right now. We're winning! I just want to see my name in lights. I could name some other games on Game Pass you should try. Yeah, well, guess what? Um, I am a friend of the devs. Like, not to these devs specifically, but to the concept of developers. I paid full price for this on Steam, even though I have Game Pass. That's how based I am. We could still thread the needle. Whatever, we're gonna see our name up in lights this time. Let's just fuck them up, let's just fuck them up. Oh, I get to still drive on my last car? You get to still drive even when it, you hit zero, zero. Time to demoralize. They're like, why is it taking so long? It's Cause I'm freaking sick with it. Is the, you know what? Okay, owned. I'm still, I get my name in lights cause I was first. I'll take that. 18 and 18. Oh, it's Grand Prix style scoring too. So every round matters, not just the final one. Count it. <laughs> I'm in. Count it. We got the three first. Did you see that? You pushed me! And then you died! Wait a minute. Keep some momentum. Great stuff. We got the four first. He's in. He's in. It's a damn mecha over here. Are you getting me my wheels on the- Fuck you! We came second, I think. Give me, give me the second. Eight points because we came second. Let's go. Okay, is that it? End of round three? Last round coming up. I'm going. I'm not going. I'm going. I'm not going. I'm alive. This definitely, to me, feels like a slow and steady wins the race sort of time. But everybody's doing their best today. Which I personally don't support. I didn't think that was going to work. 
I am upset that Stone Island learned how to play. Yes. Thanks, 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 thanks. You know what? I gotta say, I respect it, because if you wanna be the best, you gotta beat the best. He's in. Time. We need Stone Island to come second, please. Stone, we, we're rooting for Stone Island. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I think we tie then. I think we tie for first. <clears throat> Results. I came second. I, I respect that. I came second because they got to first first. That's the rules of the game. It makes sense. I'm not upset. We did get 11,000 experience. That's kind of sick with it. Give me a new match, please. I'm ready. Let's do it. Multiplayer seems pretty pog. How would you rate your parking IRL? I'm going to say 6.5 out of 10. With a backup camera, I'm never going to mess up. I, I, would, I could back into a parking spot that's the exact size of my car with a backup camera, but that's just because I have eyes that work. Parallel parking, I've been doing it a lot more because I, that's how I park when I pick up the baby from daycare. Par parallel parking's got a lot better. I got some confidence with parallel parking, but at the same time, um, you know, it's not... I see some people that are just like, wah, wah, and they're in and they're right up against it. I usually do require a little, a little adjustment, but I, I, I never have to like bail on the spot at least. Only time I parallel parked was during my driving exam. That was me for like 10 years. It's been ages since I pulled into a parking spot. I know we've, we've had this argument before, but um, like I, I just am way more, with a backup camera, I'm way more comfortable backing into a parking spot. It just, it's not a flex. It just, it feels like it's easier. It's like you're playing American Truck Sim from the top down angle. Reverse parkers are evil. Okay, so you're, you're jealous. That's fine. It happens. You could just learn how to do it instead. You don't have to be like jealous of people that are that are able to do it. What about with no backup cam? I used to be a reverse parker with no backup cam. Because once you learn the muscle memory, like my dad took me to learn how to back into a parking spot at a dealership, like a Honda dealership. So that really gets the adrenaline pumping when you're like, not only if I mess up, am I going to scratch a car, but it's going to be a new car that's not even like sold yet. So, I, you know, I, I did learn how to do it. I mean, it's the thing is, it's easy to, to cheat when you're reversing into a parking spot a little bit, right? Like you can, in most situations, if you have to do it at a 90 degree, you can do it. But I'd rather not. So you, you cheat a little bit. If your parking spot's on your right, you pivot a little bit to the left. And then you bring it back and it's on a curve instead of on a, a right angle. Yeah, I, I believe that reverse parking is easier than front parking. Reverse parkers are so annoying. Not, not really, not at all, no. I honestly, until I saw the tweet that went viral, that, and it was very controversial. The tweet that went viral that was like, I hate when people back into a parking spot. Like, we get it. You're trying to show us you're good at driving. I actually thought that everybody loved reverse parking until I saw that tweet and then realize there's a lot of people out there with very fragile egos. Why reverse park? I find it easier because I've done it more. That's the, that's the simple truth. Also, people think they're so smart. Oh, reverse parking takes longer. Yeah, it takes like 20% longer when you're backing into the spot and is much faster on the way out. Like, it's not like when you pull into the spot, you also get to pull out of the spot the other way, you know? Unless you take one of the parking spots where you drive through, which is like, that's obviously like goaded parking, but what about trunk access? Not a problem. Ne I've never found it be a problem. I mean, we're setting ourselves up for success right here. <laughs> oh, I thought I was so smart because I stopped to let the, the arm go, but then I lost control of my car because I stopped. So true, so true. Genius. There's five. Okay. Now, I was thinking maybe you could like go off the ramp in a special way. Number one with the bullet, though. Okay, we can't slow down. We've slowed down. Ooh, 
that's a tough we I think we missed an easy one somewhere. I don't even know where number eight is. I'm I'm assuming it's past the ramp. Yeah, and don't don't kill me. Are those that's a portal. That's a portal. That's a portal too. Have confidence. Do it again. Can't go in reverse. Do it again. <laughs> now, go straight back down one more time. I mean, you, you did it to yourself, brother. Take this one. That's the one we wanted. And isn't there like, you can go one further beyond? Yes. Now there's only two spots remaining. I don't, uh, I know where they are. I know where they are. They're through here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> They're through here. They're on the bounce pads over here. We got to hit the bounce pads. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's the sauce. We're getting to eight. All we got to do is make sure we get to eight first. This is why we can't run the casino. There's people like download a game and then they come third in their first round and they're like, I'm leaving. Also, I mean, you can't really compete. I'm, I got like 17 years of driving experience. Not so much on the jump pads or whatever, but... Stop it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's not even close to enough speed. We could get past. That's enough speed. Then just take it slow. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, where's Money Gang going? These are the hardest ones, too. Oh, 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 oh! Tough luck, Money Gang! <laughs> they just, they chose to kill that cow. It's gotta hurt. I'll take my 10 points, please. Toxic. I mean, we can't come, like, worse than second. Because there's only two cars in the lobby right now. <laughs> so... <laughs> So if we come first again, we basically we got a guaranteed dub added to the battle royale uh, to the toolbox. Cut him off. Cut him off. Fuck him up. Okay, okay, I see what we're doing here. You know what? I gotta hand it to you. You got that spot before me. Yeah. Well, get this spot before me. It's called superior driving. I'm, I'm parking. I'm parking. It's still parking. There's still a chance. You're just lucky I softened it up a little bit for you. Oop! My spot! Okay, I see, I see what, what must be done here. Better do something like this. I mean, I, I feel like we've stepped out to an incredible lead here. Okay, that's a very unfortunate. That would have been That would have been very smart. Forget taking the ramp. Just take this one. Okay, there's another ramp. Absolutely beautiful. We win seven to six. You can't, money gang, you can't beat me anymore. You, can, you can't beat me. Now it's about a perfect game situation. Put me on the slipstream. They're not a bot, okay? Now we gotta, the most important thing we gotta do is find the first parking spot. That way we can come first. I want the perfect. I want the perfect game. Good start. Um, homing mines. I'm still on the spot. Excuse me, I'm still on. Ah, yes, thank you, thank you. I, I heard the ding. I heard the cinema sins. Ding, no one is this bald. It's toxic. Toxic comment on my personal appearance. There's four. Absolutely beautiful. There's five. Money gang, I gotta be honest, they're holding their own here. 
That, you, that's how you do it, man. Hold on, we got one more. I'm I'm flabbergasted that I actually got it myself. Okay, the mines are homing in. I mean, if you go up against this, you just gotta embrace. Like, I'm, I'm the Game Pass killer. Hey, Mom, check it out. I found this cool game on Game Pass. I'm having a great time. I'm going up against my favorite streamer. Oh, wait, I'm completely demoralized. I've lost all self-confidence. I've got shy bladder syndrome now. Okay. Put me in, put me in, put me in. Bounce me. And drop me off. Ooh, it's soccer practice. It's not toxic. I have shy bladder too. That's why I want them to replace all the urinals with stalls. It just honestly seems like it, a, a worthy civic campaign issue. If I'm elected to city council in Vancouver, I'll replace all the all the urinals with stalls. Saved. He could catch up here. No! Where is he? I, do you think he's going for this final spot? Please. He's going. Ah, he's gone. Saved. Oh, man. That was scary. Shy bladder, gang. We came first in the multiplayer lobby. Achievement unlocked. I still can't believe the toxicity towards rear parkers, man. Well, you can't wait five more seconds to get into TJ Maxx. Like, just chill out. You're not doing anything important. You're at TJ Maxx. Why don't you just leave your house 15 seconds earlier? But I'm also like, I'll also admit, I am not the kind of person that um, parks close to the store. I bet I almost have like a, a radar that's like, am I close enough to the store? And then when that ticks to yes, I take the first parking spot I can find that's reasonable. Like sometimes I'll, uh, I mean, if there's like a hundred open spots, then I'm not gonna take the 100th furthest away, but I'm also not gonna fight for like the closest. I'll put, put me in spot 15, put me in spot 23. I don't mind taking a slightly further walk to get to the to get to the grocery store. It doesn't bother me at all. And especially if you're looking for street parking, I'm not willing to do the the dance where you're like, okay, there's one that's a block and a half away from where I need to go, but maybe I can get closer. And then you get closer and all the spots are full and you're like, oh crap, now I gotta do a three-point turn on freaking Camby Street at rush hour. I gotta go, I, I, I go first spot available. Parking while we play SAP. I parallel double park that mother fricker sideways. Me too. Me too. Thoughts on riding a real bike instead of a Peloton? Hey, thoughts on um, respecting stop signs instead of expecting other vehicles to respect them, but you just get to go through them because my, my vehicle's powered by my legs. I can't come to a full stop because then I have to use a bunch of effort. I have to use three kilocalories to, to push my vehicle to get started again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I have to ride on the sidewalk. I have to make myself a danger to, to the pedestrians because otherwise the cars would be dangerous to me. Thoughts on that, you sussy baka? Josh just gave me a plus four and he lives in the purplest state in the union, which means his opinion represents the opinions of the entire country. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I'm not, look, people are saying, oh, you're so pro car. No, I'm just stop. Be, why gatekeep exercise? Get a life. Like, they didn't say, you know, instead of riding your Peloton, why don't you, like, you know, ride a car? They said, instead of riding your Peloton, why don't you ride a real bike? Well, I don't know. You know, I like being able to ride it you know, inside. I like being able to ride it at 7 a.m. and not get hit by a car or have to worry about pedestrians. I like to be able to um, push to my limit on this rather than uh, hook up the damn Strava and try to get the, the top strive score on a public road where people are mostly just trying to get to work or like not get clipped by an Uber Eats driver on an electric scooter while they walk to the office. I don't know, maybe because I can work out in like $20 shorts and a, a, a workout t-shirt instead of putting on Lance Armstrong's USPS skin tight gear. Maybe because I don't have to wear a helmet, especially a helmet that looks like, that looks like this. I'm not that mad about cyclists. I got nothing, no problem with the cyclists. Occasionally the road cyclists, I do get a little annoyed with. 
But that's mostly because I like, listen, okay. I come to a stop sign in my car. If another car is coming to the stop sign, this is literally, this is 99% of driver cyclist rage, okay? I, if I'm at the stop sign first and a car is coming, I can look at their wheels and know whether they're going to stop. So then I, 95% of the time, they stop and I get to take my turn or I get to proceed through the intersection. With a cyclist, it's actually like 60-40, whether they're going to stop or whether they're going to keep going. And I don't mind letting them go. It's just that I wish that there was at least more predictability. Right now, the predictability is if like a normie with a messenger bag and a button-up shirt is riding their bike, then I know they're going to stop at a stop sign because they respect order. And if somebody that's dressed in full road cyclist gear with a bike that weighs two grams is coming up to a stop sign, I know they're not going to stop because they think they're more important. So that's, it, it just makes it a little bit more complicated on the road. It makes it more unpredictable. And the more unpredictable it is, the more dangerous it is. And then when, if you ever say like, oh, sometimes the cyclists are annoying, they go, well, at least my bike uh, only breaks pedestrians' arms when I go on the sidewalk instead of me getting killed by a, a GMC Suburban. And I'm like, that's true, but why don't you just respect the order of the road and then everybody would have the best chance possible to get where they're going in the safest way. I just, I, as, I mean, I don't know, you probably wouldn't count me as a cyclist because apparently my bike has a flywheel instead of two tires. It's only real biking if during the winter you take your bike and then you put it on like a roller and then hook up an aftermarketwish.com power meter to it, okay? Regardless, I don't think it's fair that cyclists get to do whatever they want and then they get to pull the, yeah, but my vehicle doesn't kill people card. Yeah, but like, it's just, you can still be an asshole when you're walking too. You're not gonna collide with someone and probably cause like a lethal collision because you're looking at your phone and zigzagging, but you should respect that you should maintain like a consistent through line and try to make space for people and not block entrances and exits to buildings and, and so on and so forth. B plus, like, don't take this the wrong way. Everybody here except Skylar, who is actually here. Sorry, I had to do the ad. I crush you in wattage. I'm just saying, okay? Maybe you crush me in, in endurance. It's possible. I'm th I think I'm beating you in wattage. Because the time that you're zipping up and, and sucking the gut in to get into the Lycra, I'm already halfway through my warm-up, okay? I'm at 343 watts for 25 minutes. Okay, you would beat me. That's a lot. But I, wanna, I want you to recalibrate your bike. Stationary bikes are the worst part of biking without any of the enjoyment. Well, I enjoy it, and I'm the one with the bike, so shut up. Wait, wait, why are you... People will be like, it's fucked up how divided we are as a society. By the way, I have extreme opinions about stationary biking. Get a life. <laughs> what an insane take. <laughs> did, did Dennis Miller, as a federal judge, sentence you to ride a stationary bike? Well, then, okay, then why, why do you care? Don't buy one, don't ride one. Chill out. Oh, I just think, I don't think cosmic brownies should exist. Are you forced to eat them? Just let other people, some people just want 400 calories of fructose when they go to a gas station, okay? It's not, it's not gonna affect your life, just relax. We're not, this is a, one of the things that's so annoying about the internet right now is we, we went from like people having extreme opinions on important things to now people have extreme opinions on everything. It's madness. People are like, oh, I crack open a can of sparkling water. The sparkling water industry is a scourge. Okay, I'm just enjoying a little fizzy, uh, fizzy drink. Doesn't have to, it's lit. The cans are like 63 cents each at the grocery store. It's not that big of a deal. Like, sure, you know, pollution and climate change, and corporate governance and politics and stuff. Like, I understand the, the extreme opinions on that. But so you'll just be eating a sandwich. People will be like, bread's not good for you. And you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to, you don't get to have any of my bread anyway. The bread's for me. You don't have to worry about it. You got you got nothing to sweat. Just get a life. <laughs> Sorry. And then this is this is this the echo to the annoyance. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck society for challenging preconceived outdated worldviews and takes. Stationary bikes? This thing right here? What did it ever do to you? Did a stationary bike clip you on the sidewalk and make you drop your ice cap? I don't think so. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays in my office the whole time. I've been criticized for something. I guess I'll never do anything ever again. Real mature. Not, not juvenile in the slightest. My parents were killed by a stationary bike drive-by. 
It sounds like they were robbing my house. Because this thing, first off, it's not a drive-by. They were probably walking by and then just happened to be victims. But this thing's not going anywhere. So they were in my vicinity. There was a standby. <laughs> oh, come on. It was probably a climb-by. 50 to 60 cadence, 60 plus resistance out of the saddle where Gloria... Estefan's conga plays. Sorry, I had to think of a Gloria Estefan song. By the way, you're absolutely right. I do need to correct myself. There's a little spoiler for the Sex in the City reboot here. I know a lot of people have been waiting until the whole series finishes in order to um, catch up on what happened to Carrie Bradshaw and her, her motley crew. So you've been warned. A stationary bike, specifically this stationary bike, did kill Mr. Big. It did kill Chris Noth. On the, on the first episode of the Sex and the City reboot. So, and you know what? I stayed away from it. I boycotted it for 48 hours as a result of that. I was so upset. But then I hopped back on because, I mean, come on. There's a, a new Kendall metal ride. I can't. I don't know how to quit you. What's the difference between a Peloton and a normal stationary bike? What's the difference between um, your question and a question nobody asked? Nothing. Sorry. <laughs> somebody just asked it though. Yeah, but somebody else. I guess if somebody asks a question, you can't really respond to any askers in the chat because there's a because there is an asker. The the honest answer is that the bike itself is I don't know. I'm gonna assume nothing special, but the content programming is special. The reason I respond snarkily is because it's like honestly none of your business. <laughs> I guess is the maybe that's not a a nice answer. But like every time you're like, I had good exercise today, people are like, oh really? I'm here to criticize that you could have exercised in a more efficient manner. And I'm like, okay, well, how was your ride today? Oh, you are you were sitting down watching me play You Suck at Parking? And typing PogChamp in the chat? I mean, you're exercising your dopamine receptors, don't get me wrong. You're exercising your Pog muscles. Minus two, I'm just a sane guy trying to understand. Your luck, unexpected loading error when I went to your profile. I was about to see how sane you are. I was about to see how many comments you had about Jerome Powell raising the interest rate by 100 basis points at the next FOMC meeting. Go back to bullying cyclists in chat. Excuse me, it wasn't bullying. They came into my chat and said, why don't you give me your lunch money? And I said, because I could pick you up over my head and place you in a garbage bin. And then they said, oh, bullying, bullying. That's rude. They, they stepped to me with rudeness in the first place. Very true. They flashed a piece on the lanes and I took it from them and pulled the trigger till it went click. What do you think about the Peloton rower? I think the company is not good. They're like, I love the product, that chest. The company is in a world of hurt. I don't think, uh, if the rumors of it being like 3,500 American dollars are true, it's going nowhere, man. It, like, that's just far too expensive. Because can't you get like a Concept 2 for like a, a 900 bucks or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. This one's looking pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Yep. Bro, honestly, I said this in a YouTube video. Team Wood Games, like I know, four wins. You got a lot on your plate. You're making new content and stuff like that. You've got to get a grant from the Dutch government, okay? Because there's, it's only fucking asshole nerds like me still playing the game. And it's really annoying. So if you could... They're Danish? Sorry, okay. From the Danish government. If you can get a grant from the Danish government... Um, Basically, just to buy ads. Just buy ads convincing people who are casual gamers to play this. That way, you could get some, like, fresh blood. Because right now, it's, it's too much, man. It's just too much. I love it. There's not enough ass gamers still left in the ecosystem. We're cannibalizing each other's ass gaming. Oh my god, we lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of those ads that's like, could you figure out how to uh, save the otter? And then you gotta pull the pin. They, there's always like lava right above them. And then there's like a, a golden goblet that you just gotta, you pull the pin and the golden goblet would just tumble down to them, but they pull the lava. Instead, like every eight-year-old kid watching on their parents' iPad is like, No! N 
the, the Jesse Pinkman going insane image. Me at, this is your, the front page of Reddit in 10 years. Me as an eight-year-old when the mobile ad pulled the pin that dropped the lava on the princess. <laughs> you know, Walter shocked. Sure, Walter shocked. Ryan, I'm sorry about the bike comment. All is forgiven. Have I used too many audits? Have I used my audit pass? Because every time I click to open a user's profile, it now says, sorry, there was an error. I wasn't asking you. I meant on like a technical level. I think I, I need to pay for Twitch Platinum so I can get the, I can get unlimited audits monthly. I'm just, I'm trying to bring people together, you know? That's the, that, that's why it was so disappointing for me, I guess. What do you mean a real bike? What, what makes something a real bike? That it actually moves? That it weighs less than a sheet of paper? That you can't uh, leave it in your storage locker because it represents 80% of your net worth? If someone broke into your building and stole it, you know, you, you would have to get a second job. Is that what makes something a real bike? I, you know what? Can we just bring everybody together and say that Peloton's a bike, a Schwinn is a bike, a Zwift is a bike, Lance Armstrong rides a bike, and we can all just hate on unicyclists instead? Who we not look! I'm sure it's great exercise, but I, whenever I see a unicyclist out in vivo, I'm like, here's that attention you ordered. Oh, he's some 65-year-old guy with a waxed mustache that's juggling as he rides along Beach Avenue. He's, you know he's soaking up the attention. Shit drives me crazy. Also, his wattage is probably crazy. Too far, too far. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'd like to apologize. Here's that attention you ordered, says the Twitch streamer. Here's that attention you ordered, says the Twitch streamer, says the person in the Twitch chat. Here's that attention you ordered, said the Twitch streamer, said the person in the Twitch chat, said the streamer to the person in the Twitch chat. Here's that, have you ever had an attention you ordered that you wanted to do the Yuka you to you to Yuka Yuan, Yuan, Yuka you to you, do you so bad you could do anything? Also, I can't hate on cyclists as long as motorcycles are still somehow legal. Stale joke. What do you mean it's not a joke? They haven't outlawed them, so I'm still beating the damn drum. They don't have to outlaw motorcycles, okay? That's probably too far. But I do wish they would outlaw them after the sun goes down. This shit is so loud. Go ahead, type it. Go ahead, type it, type it. Type loud pipes save lives. I don't know what it is about motorcycles that... Maybe they're like, they're anti-solar powered. Are they powered by the moon? Can you only drive them when the sun is down? Are they allergic to vitamin D? That's still the sun? Okay, well, you know what, then, you know, it, it, you just keep your comments in your pocket. I suppose that's true, though. Sorry, I got an eyelash in my eye. You know how it is, I got an eyelash in my eye? Got an eyelash in my eye? What's your take on horses in the road? <laughs> I haven't seen that shit in a long time. When I used to live in the country, we get trapped behind, like, tractors and shit all the time. They'll drive you crazy. You get trapped behind a tractor, they always give you, like, the go-around. Then you like peer over and there's a car coming in the one oncoming lane. And you're like, thanks for trying to get me killed, dude. I really appreciate it. But I, I don't know. You, I mean, if you got to take your tractor to get repaired, what do you do? You got to go to the, you got to drive your tractor to the repairs shop, I guess. You're going to cry? I told you I have an eyelash in my eye, okay? Hey, NL, I bonded with my bartender over you. He had a picture of the two of you together at a mall in San Francisco. What the hell? Um, I mean, that's actually theoretic. I mean, that's not theoretically possible. That's actually possible. I was recognized once in the Japantown Mall in uh, San Francisco, California. I was recognized, I remember, it was a group of, it was probably three individuals, one of whom was a bearded man wearing a hoodie, who I could understand reasonably would be in the hospitality industry. It's definitely possible. I remember, we were walking out of the stationery store. How do you remember that? I don't get recognized all that much. It's a, it's a big day for me. That'd be a pretty big day for me. You think maybe we got very lucky with the level two tiger here? Maybe there's a chance. I think I saw you yelling at a cyclist at the at Chinatown in Portland. I don't yell in my car. I give people the finger, okay? But I don't even give people the finger anymore because I had that... There was a great... Oh, sorry, casino. Sorry, sorry. I know my role. I know my role. There was a great cosmic loop. It was like um, Paul Haggis' 2004 embarrassing Best Picture winner, Crash. 
There was like, I did, someone did something bad to me. I did something bad to them. I had something bad happen to me. And then the person who did the bad thing to me had something bad happen to them. And I witnessed it. And thus the loop was closed. I've told you, I've told you the story before, but I was giving people the finger when I was driving almost exclusively when I have to turn left and I get the yellow light and then five cars cheat on the red. So then I have to turn left on a red. Okay. So I was giving people the finger. One time I had the exact same situation happen. I had to turn left through the red because a bunch of people ran the yellow going straight. And then a cyclist went and then gave me like a, he went like this and gave me a middle finger straight through the, the damn windshield. Even though I do want to say there was a no point, he, like he chose to get involved in the conflict. It wasn't like we were about to crash into each other. We were very distant. But anyway, and I said, oh, is that how it feels when you get the finger? I had a moment of self-awareness. I said, that didn't feel good, even if I, I didn't really deserve it. But then, the, so I was like, I'm not going to do that anymore. Then literally the next day, and I, this sounds very fortuitous, but you can go back to a month ago where I told this story right after it happened, I saw a cyclist run a stop sign and a police car was like trying, they, they were going to the stop sign. They rolled down their window and shouted, pay attention to the stop sign. And I was, the whole, it, it, it really was a beautiful bit of like resonance. We had like the, everybody, and I'm sure that later that day, that cop got yelled at, probably also by a cyclist. But anyway. I just came back, he's still stunlocked. I'm not, we didn't, we're not still stunlocked. We didn't talk about it for 45 minutes and then I had a great opportunity to bring it back and, and make everybody happy. And then you showed up and went, he's still talking about this? Now I'm stunlocked talking about you, idiot. <laughs> it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're, we're all part of the same Sisyphusian mountain, okay? I'm Sisyphus, you're the damn rock. Every day it gets heavier trying to push you up the Pog Mountain. Oh, I don't, I, I, I don't want to Pog. I don't want to Pog. Too bad. I'm Pogging you. I'm Pogging you. And the next day we start all over again at, in Resident Sleeper Valley. Only the rock's gotten even heavier. But you know what? That's okay. Because I've gotten even stronger. Did you put something in your coffee today? I'm just like, I'm, these pogs are natural, brother. I don't even drink pre-workout. If Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't need pre-workout to win seven Mr. Olympias, then I don't need pre-workout. All I do is take a lot of steroids. <laughs> and um, that's pretty much it. I find that's everything. Anabolic steroids, I think, is all you need if you want to become like a world champion bodybuilder or the world's strongest man. Or like a Hollywood action star, especially post-40. Can you hear them? They talk about us. But you guys ever get uh, stunlocked thinking about how sick the bass line is on the Go-Go's Our Lips Are Sealed? Not so much the Hillary and Haley Duff version, but the bass... I think I'm... I think that's the special ingredient to get me to love any song is the bass. I was thinking about why do I love Our Lips Are Sealed? The bass goes insane. Why do I love Rio by Duran Duran? The bass goes insane. I was listening to Jagged Little Pill. I was like, why do I like this album so much? It's because the damn bass is the superstar. It's a duo between Alanis Morissette and, and the bass. Rush, bass, so true. Beta Band, all about the bass. You know, I think the I think I'm bass pilled. What about Megan Trainer? I'm just gonna be honest. I know that she sings the song all about that bass, but I'm not sure I've ever heard her. Uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure I've ever heard the song. It's fairly ass. I will say, Apollo said that song should win the award for catchiest song of the year. I heard him say that maybe a month ago. And then he sang some of the lyrics, and I was like, I've never heard this song in my damn life. I had nothing against it, I just don't know anything about it. Is it like, is she saying, because they always do this stuff in songs, right? They get a little like, it's all about that bass, but actually bass is like a euphemism for like ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something in the, in the ballpark of ass. Ooh, it is like that? Okay, so it's all about that ass. 
It's about her huge anus. I, I didn't say anus, okay? I said ass. The anus is a specific part of it that's like the opening. Tell me more? No. Ask your parents. You see that Ryan Reynolds uh, had a colonoscopy? He's just like me. From Vancouver. Um, I'm actually embarrassed that he's older than me because he's in much better shape, much more successful. Some people might disagree. I would say he's a marginally more handsome, but he is old. He's probably like 45. He, he got a colonoscopy and he filmed it to raise awareness for colonoscopies. <laughs> I don't know, for something. Should have filmed yours. Well, they filmed it. I'm sure they still got the footage. I'm sure it's bullshit. I bet if I asked to film my colonoscopy, they would have been like, sir, we don't do that. Ryan Reynolds comes in. They're like, oh my God, sure. <laughs> I loved you in Detective Pikachu. Shit drives me crazy. Probably rode there on his damn road bike. Piece of crap. Plain white tea is the best NL. Change my mind. Okay, I'll change your mind. This shit ain't plain. It's a vintage New Balance basketball shirt because you know I love the ball. It's only plain from the collarbone up. Be a feeble driver. Driving like Michael Sarah. Why why is it even the most uh confident alpha male, as soon as they get behind the wheel, they turn into Michael Sarah. It's like, ah, ah. You know what I mean? Anyway, long story short, I didn't know where that bit was going. No, minus two. <laughs> you know how like normal guys would just be walking around like Michael Sarah would be walking around like <laughs> in the movies. In the movie, he always plays like a nerd in the movies. Good bit, thank you, Jay. You know what it is? Is that people outside of the industry don't understand? They don't understand what it takes to. They don't understand what goes into a good bit. I can't stop laughing about how bad this bit is. You know what it reminds me of is the, the bit where you put your shoulders in really close and then you go like this and you look like a, you look like you're running, but you're like a tiny dude. You put your shoulders up and go. You know that one? That's a, that one's a bad bit. Okay, I didn't invent it. I think I saw it on TikTok. You don't know that one either? Honestly, you guys need to get some culture. You, I, I, the angle's not right for it, okay? You gotta have your arms up like this, and then you go... I wouldn't expect you to understand. Anyway. It cracks up, my two-year-old man. I thought it would be a, a lock for Chad. I get it now. <laughs> okay, so we brought one person in. We brought one person in. I don't understand why you go for a fake run instead of a real run. Look, I'm going to plus to you for that. I understand the reference was to earlier when people might have suggested that I got stunlocked, but I disagree. Um, either way, you would. The, the problem with that joke is that it's also real. Like, if you run on a treadmill and you tell people, they would be like, why don't you just run outside? Why don't you just take something that is hard to make into a habit, and then make it completely dictated by something as unpredictable as the weather outside. Because it snows and rains outside? Not in here. The winters are remarkably mild. There's no end to the possibilities. You can play Mortal Kombat with your friend in Vietnam on one channel and watch female mud wrestling on the other. Is this a reference? Yeah, it's the cable guy. Cable guy. Cable guy. Lower half of Jim Carrey movies. Honestly, in this is I say this with judgment. If you have something like mm, the Yes Man ahead of Cable Guy, your opinion on comedy is not relevant to my interests. Liar, liar, sure. Liar, liar, great movie. Is it better than the Cable Guy? I think it's probably a better film. Would I say that I, I, if you gave me the chance to watch one of them, I would say no. I want to watch both. They're both great. Truman Show, great movie. 
Cable Guy, substantially better than either Ace Ventura. The Mask is a tough one. I mean, I take Cable Guy in that matchup, but The Mask is also, it's it's fun. It's a fun movie. Ace Ventura is the best. No, it's, it's, it's very not. Truman Show is insane. Truman Show is a great movie. Truman Show, here's, and, and I've previously said that Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind might be one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite movie of all time. But I'm gonna I'm gonna meet you here on this one. Truman Show might actually be Jim Carrey's best movie. When I when I am asked about Jim Carrey movies, it's the same as Adam Sandler movies. You can't say like, oh, Uncut Gems is my favorite Adam Sandler movie, because at no point in Uncut Gems does he go, my yes, thanks Doc, but that doesn't do much about my yes. You know, that, that's like a serious, it's not a movie, it's like a film. Ironically, it does start with him getting a colonoscopy. And yet he's, I was waiting for it. I, and then like two thirds of the way through the movie, he gets a call from his gastroenterologist. And I was waiting for like, hey, uh, Mr. H Howard, Howard, it's me, your gastroenterologist. Hey, hang on, hang on everybody. They're calling me about my ass. But he doesn't, he just goes, oh, thank you, doctor. Happy Gilmore is Sandler's mask. Uncut Gems is Sandler's Truman Show. This honestly sounds like a, like a four hour long podcast episode. <laughs> Dude, Cable Guy, I'm actually, I'm kind of losing it. This is like a genuine stun lock. Cable Guy is better than Ace Ventura 1, full stop. And is better than Ace Ventura 2. Don't lie to me, Walt. Rewatch Ace Ventura to realize it. I've seen Ace Ventura when nature calls probably 25 times. It's actually, and Mal can vouch for this, we watched it in school, just like as a, well, on an off day. But then not only did we watch it in English, in like in another class, we watched that shit in French. For some reason, our school had a, an approved French VHS of Ace Ventura when nature calls. So you're watching, hey, Oh, chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, news and vu, a two, chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, m two, m ju two, or whatever. You know, you, you get the idea. So I've I've seen that movie in two fucking languages. It's like a Studio Ghibli production. I also saw Dumb and Dumber in English and French. I don't know if it was like a Canadian film board thing where like every movie with Jim Carrey was considered acceptable Canadian content or whatever, but honestly, that was a great, great donkey. Pull over. It's a cardigan. Thanks for asking. Great. I don't know how they translated the soup du jour line though, because it's already translated. Dumb and Dumber's pretty assy. Is this like a new thing where people like log onto the internet to be wrong? What do you mean it's Dumb and Dumber's pretty assy? It's an amazing movie. It's it's a top 50 comedy, I'll tell you. I, I prefer Ace Ventura. You prefer Ace Ventura to Dumb and Dumber? Did you just, did you just get, am I, wait, uh, are you tattoo? Cause you're talking like it's Fantasy Island right now. People just keep spewing nonsense. Jay, I sometimes, when you're here, I feel like we're the only two normal people on this whole website. And that's a scary thought. You know what? Dumb and Dumber is better than Ace Ventura. Dumb and, Josh says Dumb and Dumber sucks. How can you hate Dumb and Dumber and Wes Anderson movies? Isn't that like, surely you'd think that if one of them didn't hit you, the other one would? <laughs> Like you only like comedies that are the exact middle of the road. They can't be too smart. They can't be too stupid. Ace Ventura 2, better than Dumb and Dumber, better than Ace Ventura 1. Okay, I mean, it's not like, look, I'll just level with you. Your take is not as insane as I thought it would be, but it's still relatively insane. Dumb and Dumber is like, I mean, I said top 50 comedy. I'll just be honest. I was kind of just like protecting my, my cred a little bit. I was, I was throwing out a line to see how chat would feel about it. I would probably say Dumb and Dumber is a top 20 comedy. And I might even feel comfortable pushing it even higher up the list. I just don't know yet. I'd, I'd have to, I mean, before I said something like that, I'd have to sit down and really take a look at it. Best in Show, great movie. I love Best in Show. Best in Show versus Dumb and Dumber. I don't know. I, I definitely, I had a phase where I was big into Christopher Guest. I, Spinal Tap might be also a contender for the best comedy ever even though I keep forgetting the quotes from it and misquoting it and embarrassing myself. Kingpin? Come on, man. <laughs> it's like, I like Kingpin. I own Kingpin on, uh, on DVD, okay? I can quote a lot of Kingpin. It's got Superman by Goldfinger in it. It's no Dumb and Dumber, though. Waiting for Guffman is also very good. Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz is up there, for sure. Super Bad would be up there, there's no doubt. I mean, I, this is maybe like a... 
This people aren't ready for this take yet. I still think the Hangover One is top twenty-five. Hangover Two and Three are an insult. They should never have been made. Oh, dude, Tropic Thunder is up there too. You're absolutely right. Step Brothers, I plead the Fifth Amendment. What about Hubie Halloween? I, look, I'm, I should not get stunlocked here, but I was reading a thread on Reddit about Adam Sandler movies. I was amazed at how many people like Hubie Halloween. There were people saying, like, I lost it at every scene with the thermos. If you don't know Hubie Halloween, Adam Sandler plays a guy um, who's maybe a little bit like Bobby Boucher from The Waterboy. People throw eggs at him, and he catches the eggs in his thermos and then drinks it and says, like, thanks for the free protein. It's, it's so assy. It's... It's really bad. Anyway, I'll be back. I already ran the ads. I'll be back in just a minute here. Melee is old enough to drink. Yeah, no, but it's Melee is a, uh, is a digital entertainment product. If if Super Smash Bros. Melee walked into a bar, people would be like, "What the hell? A talking GameCube game." Also, Sonic is old enough to freaking. I don't even know. Sonic's old enough to run for president. Doesn't mean the average Sonic player isn't. Nine years old. Sorry. Sorry. Eleven years old. Sonic's old enough to fuck your mom? This is definitely true, because this shit is like almost as old as my dad, I think. By the way, can I tell you, I... I, I got, uh... I got dadded by Corey last night. It's not a dirty expression, right? I'm not trying to say that he like, you know, you know what in my you know what. All I'm trying to say is that I linked him the clip of me getting, uh... DDT'd into the water in that murder-suicide in the final circle where I got killed. It wasn't a bragging clip. It was just a funny clip that I linked him. Well, I linked to, like, the whole uh, streamer Discord. And I linked the one where I got the Cosmo shot kill for the, the finals victory. He said, both are good. He, like, when I say he dadded me, he, he, that's how my dad, like, responds to my texts that are bragging. Both are good. It wasn't even like a smiley face after it or anything. I want to get involved. My CFO walked by, ah, right as you race. said, like fucking kill each other, hope I'm not in trouble. So Somebody, you need to get a bonus. You can buy yourself some AirPods. You should not be listening to streams on open comms. That's psychotic. Also, it's fine. Just do some coke together at like the Christmas party. You guys will be best friends. Sorry, that was too far. I wanted to be clear. I was suggesting that the CFO does recreational drugs, not you. Well, like pot maybe, but I wasn't insulting you. Do you watch the new Elvis movie? Listen, I haven't started taking edibles. I haven't started watching Boz Lerman movies. Like I'm at a time in my life where just keeping the wheels turning is enough for me. You know, I got a lot of stuff going on. Don't know if it's a great time to get introduced to new hobbies like, you know, intravenous drugs, watching Boz Lerman movies. Okay, finally the Redditor post. Okay, hold on. Reddit post, Reddit post, Reddit post, Reddit post, Reddit post, Reddit post. <clears throat> T-I-F-U, my girlfriend of two years told me the music I play during sex is weird and a major turnoff. Little backstory. When I first started having sex, I researched into ways to be better as I was a little stiff and pretty much had no idea what I was doing. I read online you can play music and match the rhythm in order to put on a better performance. Okay, Sanest Redditor just dropped. I searched lovemaking songs and slowly created a playlist where I was comfortable matching the rhythm. Okay, hold on. <laughs> just wait till you hear the song. <laughs> okay. Look, I don't believe that it's real. That doesn't mean it's not funny, though. I'm way too high in the damn air. You know what? When we're this high, we lay in Broken Square. Yeah, I've already heard the song, but I didn't know that, like... I mean, when I heard it, I guess, barring the context, I was just like, whoa, what's this song? There's a few songs on my playlist. However, there's no, there's one song in particular which happens to be my favorite that my girlfriend's hate and my girlfriend hates and says turns her off in a major way. I don't understand why it's taken her two years to tell me she hates the song. It's a good lovemaking song with a good rhythm. I feel the way I fricked up is I could have asked her previously if she likes the playlist or any songs that she'd add, like to add or change. But to leave it for two years thinking our sex life is great but in her eyes has been ruined by my music has the whole situation feeling awkward and I'm a little bit annoyed. 
Okay, sorry. The song itself. <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm muting the song for you guys so I can hear it. Okay. <laughs> I can understand. Ed, okay. I don't know what to say. It just gets worse. I just, I mean, the, the, I'm very impressed with the man's ability to main a, maintain a consistent rhythm through that. We've run the casino, we're good to go. There's a follow-up post. There's a video of him demonstrating. All right, this guy's a comedian and that's that's funny as hell. The song does kind of grow on you. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm self-reporting. The concept of a, of a sex playlist is so funny to me. I'm not saying, like, this, I'm, this is not my first day on the internet. I don't think it's just like, you know, I'm not surprised at its existence. But someone listening to the, a song and being like, wow, you know what? This song would be great to have sexual intercourse to. This is like, it's very funny. He's like, I could fuck with this in the background. Sitting in his chair, like, mer, 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 mer. I always wonder, too, like, how does it happen? Do you put the playlist on, and then when your partner walks in, they know, like, oh, it's on. So, it's on. Or, are you, like, you're both, like, in bed, and then you put it on, and then you're like, huh? Or, are you getting started getting hot and heavy, and then you're like, hold on a second. Alexa, <laughs> sorry, I can't be, might be people watching this with microphones uh, in their homes, sorry. The third one, so you're like, hang on, check this out. This is my car insurance uh, renewal. So thank you for everybody who told me you can renew your car insurance online in BC now. I, uh, as, as my wife and I jointly own our car, apparently I can't renew it online. So, I emailed my insurance provider and went, hey, I have to renew my insurance. And they said, sure. Just like, first I had to be like, I consent to you using my personal information over the internet or something like that. Then, um, I, I said that and they said, thanks, we'll call you back at our earliest convenience. Who do you think works for who here? You're gonna call me back at so now I have like four voicemails over the past two days from my the company that provides my car insurance. And all the voicemails are like, hey, sorry we couldn't reach you. Yeah, you couldn't reach me because you called me at like 1230 p.m. on a Monday. What's wrong with you? Of course you can't reach everybody's at work. Okay, work. I'll do it so you don't have to, but it's very annoying. So if you want to do it at your convenience, I guess you got to walk into the damn store. Stop calling me. I'm playing Rumbleverse. Also, I don't need car insurance. I prefer cars who don't crash. Hold on. I'm just checking. I saw Ludwig's fresh new haircut. There's no way he got that at, at Supercuts, right? I had my, uh, my last haircut ever. I got at... Canadian Supercuts, which is called um, First Choice Haircutter. Uh, I would describe the haircut as going out on a low. But it, I think it actually made going bald a little easier. Because the haircut was so bad that I was like, I'd rather have none. I give you props for not wearing a hat nonstop. That's like one of those compliments that actually it reads like an insult. I got nothing to hide. I do, I wear a hat outside, but it is mostly for sunburn related reasons. That's gonna hurt. The, uh, the sunburn 
I mean, once... Deserve? I deserve it. Once you get sunburned on your head, let me put it this way, you're never gonna let it happen again. They're exploiting a flaw in the human brain. They're basically, they're, they're brain hackers. It's a boomer take that I don't want you to get addicted to gambling. Sometimes people will say like, oh, we should make everything bad for us illegal then. I'm like, well, yeah, like a lot of it, I think. I'm not saying we should make it illegal, but would it make society a better place? Probably. Now the question, and I struggle with this sometimes, is the point of life to make society a better place? Because sometimes people are like, you know, oh, you got to like do this, you got to do that. Think of what your ancestors like sacrificed to get you here. And I'm like, well, okay, I, then I'm cashing in. I'm cashing in the chips that they put into the pot. Why should I have to put the same number of chips in that my grandparents put in? They put them in so I wouldn't have to put in so many chips. But now I'm supposed to put, put in the same number of chips so that the next person can collect on them? Well, yeah, I have a kid. But don't worry, her, her chips are taken care of. I just like sometimes I, people talk about like, um, you know, like, oh, you like you got to work so hard to like push society forward and stuff like that. And I'm like, why? Everyone's just going to human beings were the same, you know? Oh, what are you going to use a better smartphone to jerk off and waste time? <laughs> thanks. Thanks for spending your whole life at the lithium factory, grandpa. Now my smartphone is an inch and a half bigger and it has a 4K screen that I normalized to in like five seconds and immediately was like, oh, I need a new phone. At some point, don't we have to have like a society where we say, hey, thanks to our ancestors for like creating like a, a world that in some ways can be comfortable at least. Now we're just going to coast for like a generation or two. Now we're just going to enjoy it. Why we always got to be like pushing stuff forward? Medicine, sure. Medi I Hello. Medicine, I, I, I like that we're pushing that forward. But like, um, and the blockchain, I think that's doing some good stuff. Do you see that they're giving, that Starbucks now is going to have a Web3 enabled loyalty app. Time to, time to return to Starbucks for the first time in a while. I'm like, honestly, I think we should have like a generation where people just sort of like chill a little bit. Like maybe granddad did fight on Juno Beach. So that I could just fucking chill out. I don't think they were over there, you know, in Dieppe. And they were like, yeah, oh, I fucking hate war. This fucking sucks. Like, we're all going to die. And even if we don't, it's torture. Um, but on the bright side, at least our grandkids will always look back on this moment and be like, well, that's why we have to suffer too. Bad take? No. I think your take that this is a bad take is a bad take. Minus two? You know what? I'm minus two, you're minus two. I, I'm minus two and you're minus two. I think we should have like a generation that's just like... Just like making and watching movies and TV. I think that's the... That's the sauce. And if we get like passed by another country, honestly, more power to you. Isn't that, it's like, honestly, like America, you've done a lot. Can you just retire? Maybe it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labors and, you know, just get a boat or something like that and chill out. You know, like move out of the economy a little bit so that some other hungry countries can get a chance to maybe like usurp you if Canada gets passed. I mean, we're already, Canada's kind of sick. We're not in the G7, but we're in the G7. You know what I mean? Like, we're not one of the top seven economies on Earth, but they just invite us anyway. It's something every country should aspire to be. Easy to invite to things. They do need to bring in a little bit more blockchain support, though. I don't know about their positions on the blockchain. Blockchain kind of mid? You know what? I'll plus two that. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> to be honest. I don't really know what it is. I just like saying it because it elicits strong reactions. Try keeping your cool and shooting a sniper bullet in this situation, brother. Oh, really? Well, if I got if I'm minus two, then that guy's minus four. Okay? Could I? Could a man with such bad takes be this good at gaming? I don't think so. No, gamers have notoriously good takes. I don't understand how people 
in the NFL can just like miss kicks. Would love your thoughts on this. Anyway, I'm just saying just like chill a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Give the rest of the world a chance, man. Don't make fun of me for styling on kids in whatever this game's called, Zoms. I already beat all the 45-year-olds in Rumbleverse, okay? I'm not 45. Joe, Joe, I'm sorry. I was talking about the Giant Bomb premium subscribers like me, okay? Does your stream contain content that's inappropriate for younger audiences? I mean, that honestly depends on what you mean by younger. Like, it's inappropriate for five-year-olds. I think a 14-year-old could watch it. And it also depends on what you mean by inappropriate. I mean, I'm not, like... I'm swearing a lot. Maybe we're talking about mature themes sometimes, but I would rather have my 15-year-old watching an erudite streamer with good takes who swears than watching somebody, hypothetically speaking, participate in gambling on stream without ever uttering a curse word. I wouldn't want a child to absorb your toxic manners. I don't, I'm, excuse me, you can ask Kate. In real life, I'm like, I'm a very nice guy. Because in real life, strangers don't come up to you all day and say ignorant shit. They mostly just go, excuse me, I'm just going to sneak right by you. I just got to sneak right by you. Nobody goes, good idea, stand in front of the thing that I need. If they did that, I would say like, good idea, buying those shoes. In my head, they're wearing like, I don't know, clogs at the grocery store or something like that. In the real world, people are just, you know, they're, they're just trying to get through the day on the internet. Everyone's trying to come by with a little scoop out a pound of flesh. And then they're like, why are you toxic? Why are you toxic? Hey, I don't, I don't know who the fuck you are. I'm a 17-year-old kid from Madison, Wisconsin. Do you shine your head? What do you mean you've heard this a thousand times before? And then I say, hey, enjoy Madison, Wisconsin. You're going to be living in it for the rest of your life. And then they go, oh, toxic, toxic. You can't respond to an insult with an insult. That's toxic to Madison, Wisconsin. Okay, well, <laughs> sorry. Look, I could work on the collateral damage of the toxicity. Sometimes it's like I respond with an AOE when it should just be a targeted attack. But either way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Later. Jay, I don't know if you've seen me play Rumbleverse in a little bit, but I don't even know if you're still here, to be honest. The bathroom break is where streamers lose a lot of their retention. But if you are still here, maybe you're thinking to yourself, I wonder how good this guy's gotten that Rumbleverse. Well, does the drip answer your question? <laughs> oh, slash marker Rumbleverse. Huge. Don't hit me. I've got them on the ropes. Oh, that was supposed to be an Irish whip. Huge. Hey, did the person... Get him again. Did the person that taunted me get killed? That's tough luck. Chubster25. You sure you want this? You sure you want the damn smoke? No, they didn't get... Get him. Yes! <laughs> Good one. Scared? Scare this. Purple book. I just, I don't want to wipe people happy. That was a really good move. Also, I was holding a juice in my pocket. Okay, I'm gonna die. It's, I am not gonna. Fuck with you ever again. Go ahead, take, you can take the yellow juice if you want. I don't care. Get me, get me out of here. That's, that person's gonna win the lobby. That's crazy. Fifty-one wins. I honestly would have expected like triple that. <laughs> Still, two eliminations. Eliminations are hard to come by in this game. We barely, we got the five to two. Oh. If there was a god, that would have hit. A little special priority. That's fine. Honestly, didn't think he had it in you. I, I got to hand it to him. I didn't think he had it in him. 
Let me see your HP. How close were we? Let me see your HP. Oh! Dude is standing on top of my body looking up the controls. That hurts. Anyway, so I don't know. I don't, I don't have an answer for you on what's going to happen there. <laughs> my mojo. I feel like I got my mojo back. Ooh, ooh. This, oh, Jesus. This is like the, the skin you don't want to see when you're low on HP. Is like skinny, cares about the battle pass. Like that's, I'm not all about that. I'm frightened. I want to see Chunky. <laughs> I'm going to bank on you forgetting that bad breath is not unblockable. How does that sound to you? I love when somebody just shows up. They, they came in for the third party, like, just to get their ass beat. You're still alive. Now be careful. Little competitors are squeezing in. One of these. Whatever. I'm popping this shit. Let me punch you in the nutsack! I got stamina broken out of super. You know how embarrassing that is? Where'd my third party ears go? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Just kidding. I'm into here. Bro, fuck off! <laughs> I'll see you in hell, you dickhead! It was about- he just came back from the dead. He was about to be dead forever. Hit me with a bat for no- you take my kill? Okay. I see this motherfucker coming in too. This shit never ends, man. So ignorant. Get me- uh, go ahead, take the juice. Take the juice. I'm fucking leaving. It's chaos over there. It's- it's just drop kicks. Not, there's no safety! I'm dead. You just ate a big chicken. I have 148 HP. Okay, and you know how to dodge. Thank you for not throwing the bat at me, at least. I'm, I'm running into the damn edge. Remember what Mark Wahlberg would do. So true, just whenever, what would Mark do? That's running through my head right now. What would Mark do? Mark would learn a basic uppercut. He would get a chicken in here. I'm dead. I lived. They threw a big chicken at me. They threw a big chicken at me. I'm alive again. I have a move. Imagine if you got killed by a big chicken, though. That'd be insulting. We got a choke slam. Let's go, Rumbleverse. It's a spicy lobby today. I mean, people just keep get. Oh, shit. People just keep getting better. And by better, I mean... Not only better at, like, doing the moves, but also better at running up to other people um, while they're having a 1v1 fight that takes all of their brain power. And then dro dropping a dropkick on them. I probably should be dead here. Instead, somehow this shit worked. Loser. Okay, who's next? Oh, man. It just, it makes me laugh every time. Like, you start playing video games, I'm sure, to have fun. When do you reach the point where you're like, oh, he's about to do a cool suplex. I'm not going to let him have that. I alt F4. But the irony is it just actually is way more fun than I'm imagining, like, some 25-year-old guy at home who's like, oh, fuck! Give me a punchline. Takes about three games. That sounds about right. I want the juice. Come on up. See ya! I'm gonna... I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. He's just taking my bat from me. Dude, you know what would go hard here is actually like a Cosmo shot. Let's go! I mean, or a Meditate or any healing perk, sure. 
Get him, get him. Get his ass. No, get my, don't get my ass. I'm dead. It's not livable. 17 HP. It's livable. Get off of my truck. I have no heals, though. Yeah, it's never gonna work. <laughs> I'll take this, though. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. I was just happy to see someone that was just minding their own business. I didn't need to mess with that guy. Why are you getting mad like a dad in traffic? Well, it's the same principle. I'm trying to just, you know, get to my destination safely. This is how you play the game. And, like, I'm about to fucking kill somebody who's, like, better than me. And then they're like, hmm, dropkick? Cheeky little dropkick for you. So, how would you feel? Nice uh, engagement you got here. How would you feel if somebody came up and just mindlessly left-clicked you? Made a huge mistake. <laughs> that was... Do not initiate on... Um, I'm alive? Or uh, no, awake, I should say. Do not initiate with a roll. Okay, that felt better. Why leave juices and shit on the ground? Are you fucking seeing what's happening? I go up, I saw a red juice over there. I went over. Two seconds later, a, a dude fell from the sky on top of me. Like, you gotta, you, you gotta, you see? You gotta deal with the damn threats. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Are you happy? I prioritized the juice. Shouldn't even eat this. The elbow drop is imminent. Now that I did not have to do, but it felt sick. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Meet my lot. Meet me one v one on Tilted Tower, okay? You think you got the game figured out? Let me guess. Oh, I haven't downloaded the game. I have an ethical uh, problem with the Epic Game Store. Okay, then you know what? Keep your comments in your pocket. I can't be here. I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta pop. I gotta pop it. Okay. That chair is coming after me. Get out of here. <laughs> no! I knew it! I called it like, like when we dropped in the first place. They didn't let me focus on this guy and look at... Look who had to show up in the final circle. It snatched me out of the damn sky. It was impressive. It was a good catch. You think they see me? Can you play dead and meditate simultaneously? Look up in the sky, fresh crates. <laughs> what are you doing? He's playing reactive ball. He knows what he's doing. Oh, what the hell? He's amazing. Thank you. I won't forget this. I'm sorry. It had to be done. Climb him. Climb him. Jebediah Springfield. Somebody's climbed him as well. I can't really stop him from climbing. I just gotta meditate on him. I think we're gonna drop down and drop an uh, Omega Cyclone on their ass if we get a chance. Otherwise, I, I'm with you. I think we got a stable equilibrium here. I'll, I'll stay here. It hit them. I don't know if it hit him enough. Hello. I know what's coming. Hold. Hold! There's no reason for us to to fight, okay? We can all hang together up here until 
shit really hits the... Ah, oh, fuck. Forty stam. For once, I wish I had more yellow juice. Don't drop me. Let's take a little meditation break. Five gamers. Hello. I support you. Okay. I I, I tried to drop a cyclone. I was not frame perfect. That was frame imperfect. What do you got? What do you got? I can't even see the book. Five gamers. Okay. You scare me. Put down my weapon. Joke's on you. I got another freaking sword. Okay, I don't want to mess with that guy. I think he's just, he's as desperate as we are. <laughs> he's got better parkour skills than me. Oh, <laughs> it almost worked. I was ready for, oh, Jesus. What have we done? I had a feeling we were going to get something off that. Dude. Did I say I'm the slickest they is? See that shit coming, did you? Still hit. Okay, good, good move. Bad move for me. Good, very smart. My stam. My stam. <laughs> he got DQ'd! His javelin tackle DQ'd him. What a lobby. The smaller the circle gets, the more Omega Cyclone puts you inside of the damn blender. Now that, I, I don't know if I've ever worked harder for a win than that. We won that match when we chose Omega Cyclone. That's a tough one to do. They're also playing our, our victory anthem. Oh, that's Seabad Redditor! What are you doing? Why are you running so damn much? Why are you crying so damn loud? Oh, that, he's, he's stuck! We gotta help him! <laughs> we gotta help him! No, we gotta elbow drop them. Maybe the elbow drop's the only way to save him. He's having a heart attack, man. Okay, that was a nasty third party. Like, he was about to get a kill there. I was just along for the ride. He's trying to get a cheesy kill with his chair. The chair's already cheesy. I don't respect it. I'm Irish whipping ya. I'm splatting ya. I'm hitting you with a javelin tackle. I'm dropping an elbow drop on you. We'll do a little wake up drop kick maybe. I don't know. Bombastic me. Here comes the ring. The fight must go on. I'm, I'm mindlessly left clicking. I expected a nut shot. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's got a damn pocket full of chicken. I wanted that move! It's a good move. I didn't expect that. <laughs> you got me. You got that was a, honestly. Dog, dog. What? 
I don't buy it. I hope they can keep this match going. What the fuck? The Dave Lang, Dave Lang, speak to me. David, David Lang. I would like to speak with David Lang. Executive director at Iron Galaxy. I believe a box has blocked me from landing my super. I would like a refund on the super meter that I spent. That's called third party. They have alt f 4 the game. And you just lost the game. Get him. Well, it's worth it for the HP. Then one of these. Into the water, maybe? Per chance? Maybe take out a plank to finesse it. Maybe giant swing his ass into the water because it's more fun. Okay. It never gets old. Confirm never gets old. Who needs red juice when, when you got uh, the coast close by? Bye bye So, dude, I still think Apollo would love this game. But yeah, you get to do so long, gay Bowser. Don't don't get involved. Don't get involved, brother. <laughs> oh man, you made a big mistake. Enjoy your juice. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. I walked into that one. I thought the nut punch would take priority over vicious, which makes no sense. Still, so worth. So worth. How'd we do on that one? Four eliminations? Were they all by Giant Swing? Because that's incredible. That was a lot of fun. Let me get 10 to 6. That's a rare payout. They were all water kills. It's so good. Yeah? Skyrocket this. You reap what you freaking sow, dude. <laughs> He's just holding it? I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Did you see the quick 180? Ooh! Get him, get him, get him. Oh! Spamming? He is spamming. Yeah, that did nothing. That did nothing at all. Thanks, reps. Who's up here? Latency. Latency. Love it. I love latency. I love latency! I hope they can keep this match going. Yum, 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 yum. Hello. So I know I'm tunnel visioning right now. I know I'm, I'm saying nothing. I'm saying boing, boing, boing over and over. Many people are saying it's the least sense I've ever made on Twitch. I saw the juice over there, but I also saw the circle. I, I picked my battle. I've got an idea. I'm going right back up, just for the record. Don't think I won't. <laughs> God, I want those juices now. Juice? Any juice? Oh, this is a great hiding spot. I just don't have meditate. But that would be like too powerful. What the? You can, there's a better hiding spot. Good move, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh man, look at how much, we, we could do so much more damage than that. I'm out. I'm still out. Me after a devious lick. I'm just, I shouldn't be here. I'm healing. 
I shouldn't have left. I'd like to go back. I don't even know how I got off the track. Climb! Oh, there's a crate there, too. We just gotta wait for our, our timer to tick back a little bit. Or do we? There's even a juice over there. <laughs> I mean, we have to attack them. Ooh. There's two down there. We gotta try. Good, good attack, good attack. Javelin tackle. It's a solid attack. I need this timer to tick, man. I can't javelin tackle. I can only uppercut. I love what you're doing over here, by the way. Get her. Get her. I can't see. Breathe. They got DQ'd! I'm not dead, I'm not dead. I can't get enough of this kind of action. What? I've been bounced. Joke's on you, I'm stronger on the outs. That's bullshit. Dave Lang, talk to me about sumo clap, Dave Lang. He's on top of a big chicken. Whip his ass. Splat his ass. Give him one of those. Pop super and welcome him back. Okay, big move, big move. No walls? Hard to believe, brother. Sad but true. No bombast. And yet I, I still keep bombasting. Wake up, hit him. No, bad move. Bad move. Threw a damn chicken at me. Thought I was going to pick that shit up. I, I Honestly, the visual indicator for me said that we landed that, which is why I went in on the combo. Okay, that is just ignorant. That's that's bad. That's bad. He's chickening me. It'll take more than that to knock their opponent out of this. We're eating. But it's a good start. <laughs> Okay, big moves. I really thought that was gonna tag him on land. It's all right. Probably gonna get a chance to heal a little. He's gonna throw a chicken at me. I haven't shown. Okay, that was bad. I haven't shown javelin tackle. I on it. Well, now I have. I honestly, thought there was a chance we get him with it. He knows. He knows. He knows I'm weak to jumping. Jump this. Okay, smart. He doesn't want it. I felt it. I felt the timing. <laughs> as soon as he landed, I was like... He, the timing is just going to line up perfectly. Just like my Seabat Reddit music.
That was a big one. That one felt good. No meditate. No meditate, no problem. Now, I want to give you respect, okay? And I'm not saying I'm any different. However, here's my impression of you on r slash Rumbleverse. Dude, 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 dude. Spinning around. D dude, dude, they need to nerf jab tackle. Jab tackle is... This is the way the game is meant to be played, is you bounce up and down nonstop. They need to the nerf jab tackle, dude. Dude, please. Iron Galaxy, I'm done with this. Sure, I'm queuing right now. I'm done with the game until you fix jab tackle. I didn't bring the jumping into the game, okay? Other people brought jumping into the game. I'm just here to squish it. 